Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am back home. If you guys haven't seen my last couple of videos, I have been in Hawaii. Um, I was there for about five weeks and it was amazing. I had the best time and I am a little bit sad that I'm not there right now, but I'm really happy to be back home. I'm very happy to be back in my regular filming location so that I can go back to making videos twice a week because that is something that is very important to me and I wanna stay consistent with that schedule. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any video ideas, first of all, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to go ahead and do them. I do have a lot of videos lined up that I'm excited about, including this one. This is gonna be five bags to keep, five bags to sacrifice. This was a tag and I have seen plenty of YouTubers do it already. I think I'm a little bit late to this trend, but that's okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, it's like my, what, like second, third day back home and I'm really ready to get back into it and I wanna catch up on these things that I missed. So let's do five bags to keep and five bags to sacrifice. I made a list, let me get it pulled up and then we'll get started. So what I tried to do is not watch any of the five to keep, five to sacrifice videos in full, um, just because I didn't want it to influence any of my decisions. If some other YouTubers had the same bags and they had like opinions about them, that would maybe sway my opinion. So I just wanted everything to be just truly authentic and then I will go back and watch all of those because I definitely wanna see them and I've been dying to watch them. I've just been holding off because I wanted to make this video too. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go like one bag keep then the sacrifice then keep sacrifice i think i'm gonna do it that way so the first bag that i have is my newest bag i did an unboxing on this when i was in hawaii um, i feel like it was a really awesome purchase because i did get the hawaii pricing and i did not have to pay tax on it so that is awesome and it is right here i've been keeping it in the box since i got back luckily i've got to bring home all the packaging for it um, i was kind of nervous about it not fitting into my bag but it did which i'm oh, very thankful for <laughs> But this is my beautiful Dior saddlebag. This is honestly something I did not know that I needed in my life. And I went to the Dior store originally to go and look for um, the, the Lady Dior. And I was looking at either the mini or the medium Lady Dior and I ended up getting this one because the savings on it was wonderful. The price difference between the Lady Dior and this one was kind of big. So I ended up going with this one because it was not as expensive and I also felt like it was gonna fit my aesthetic a little bit better. I tend to wear like all black, do a little bit of an edgier look and I love this bag. I decided to do the black and gold hardware. It's classic and I'm getting like a little hanger to put it on so I can put it on my shelf. I'm so excited for that to come in so that way I can just hang there and look beautiful on my shelf. I said a lot of things about this bag before I purchased it, but now I've honestly changed my mind and you know how that kind of stuff goes. Sometimes you feel a certain way about something and then your opinion changes and that is exactly how I feel about this bag. But now I love it and I want it to stay a part of my collection for a very long time and I'm super happy to have it here. Next up is a bag to sacrifice um this is the chanel medium i have gone back and forth about this bag i was going to sell it before and then i decided to keep it in my collection it's not that i don't like this bag because i've really grown to actually like it but if i had to live without it i could and that's that's just how i feel about it it's my least favorite size of the chanel classic flaps if i had to choose a size to give up it would be this one and i really like this bag the navy blue makes it a little bit harder to match to things but i really actually do like it it has grown on me a lot but the fact that I almost sold this bag before definitely puts it in the sacrifice pile. Even though it has grown on me and I have like learned to love it a little bit more, this is a bag that I probably will eventually sell. Not anytime soon, maybe like in a couple years or something, but this is not really a forever item for me. Um, I like it. Like I said, I like it, but it's not gonna stay with me forever and I know that. So when it comes to choosing something to sacrifice, this little baby would go. This is really hard, honestly. Picking bags for this and even making the list was kind of hard because it's like, oh, I don't want to part with any of these. I am going to sell a couple bags. I'm not really sure which ones, but uh, because I got that Dior saddle bag and I'm planning on getting another bag that I got to get, I got to sell some stuff from my collection in order to make it make sense. <laughs> um, so I do will end up having to part with some of them. So this was kind of like a good brainstorming thing to see what I'm actually going to sell, even though it's not quite like time to sell yet like i'm not about to do it like today but yeah this kind of really made me think about some things and then keeping with chanel this would be one that i would keep this is one of my probably forever bags i i don't know why it's not closed i love this bag though this is my chanel jumbo and caviar with silver hardware and this is a bag that ever since I got it, I have adored it. And this has been one of my favorite things to look at, one of my favorite things to take with me, 
one of my favorite just bags to throw on my shoulder when I go anywhere. I feel like it just adds a whole level to any outfit, any look that you're doing. I would wear it out at night. I really don't care. I, I've said this in a bunch of videos. I don't really care when bags are heavy, which is probably why I love the Jumbo so much. It's probably why I love the Birkin 35. It's probably why, like, it's probably why, like, I like those bags a lot more than these, like, little tiny light bags, but... The Chanel Jumbo, I honestly feel like is something that you can't go wrong with. I feel like the staple, the staple like Chanel classic flap size should be the Jumbo and not the medium, but that's just my personal opinion. Like I know that most people don't feel that way and that's totally fine, <laughs> but that is how I feel about the Jumbo. It is my absolute favorite. I have three Jumbos. I have this one, I have this blue one back here, and then I have a beige clear, which is not out on the shelf right now, but I love the jumbo the jumbo is my favorite size and this definitely would be a keep because it is a staple it is a classic and i could go and like sell this however many years from now and be good to go because it's going to hold its value really well so that's awesome and that's a good thing to have in your collection just in case you needed to sell a bag but if i always have a choice which i always hope that i do i would keep it <laughs> All right, so these next ones, I'm actually going to do two at one time for ones to sacrifice, and they're my Speedies. This is the Little Bitty Mini Vintage Speedy. I really like this bag a lot, um, but honestly, for the amount of use that I get out of it, it's it's too cute. I, it's so cute. Like, I, in reality, like, I would not want to sell it, but if I had to give up something to sacrifice, I would give this one up because it's not very practical. <laughs> um, as cute and as adorable as it is, it does not fit my phone. So this is really not the most practical bag to have, but it's so cute. And I get compliments on this every single time that I wear it. And I think it's just the most like adorable little thing. I love things that are kind of just sometimes just not the most practical. I think that it's cute and I don't really care. But <laughs> like I said, if I had to sacrifice, it would be this one. And then going along with that is my Speedy 30 Bandolier. This is a bag that I have come back around to loving. I actually tried to sell this bag. I sent it off to Rebag. Rebag sent it back to me because they said that the piping was not like in good enough condition on the corners in order for them to resell it, which is fine, I understand. They can only take things in a certain condition, which also means that their standards are probably pretty high for what you purchase off of their website. So I think that that's kind of a good thing. However, when they sent this bag back to me, I kind of didn't want to part with it again, so I didn't try to sell it again, especially for the amount that I was going to get for it. It was not going to be very good. Like I paid, I think I paid like $1,300 for this back in 2015 or $1,200 or something, and the prices that I was getting to sell it were like $600, $700, $800, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I feel like I should just keep it because <laughs> I I was really not getting the price that I was looking for for this, which is okay, I understand. But at the same time, I still really like this bag and I think that I would still go back into carrying it. I think I'm going to actually start carrying it pretty soon. Um, I've kind of fallen back in love with it again. But if I had to sacrifice something, this would be in the sacrifice pile. I love it, but it would be in the sacrifice pile. <laughs> Next one that I would keep is my Chanel Boy. This was actually super unexpected for me because I never planned to purchase a Chanel Boy. I was just so in love with the classic flap. I never thought that I'd buy a Chanel Boy, but then my style started changing a little bit and I felt like this went really well with it. One thing that I love about this bag, and like I'm really like a texture person, like if I like the way that it feels and like then then I will love the bag. So that's how I kind of feel with the jumbo. I like the feeling of the way that the caviar leather is on it, but it's just big and the chain is heavy. Like I like the way that that feels. And this one I really like the way that it feels too. Like this is lambskin, this is just the softest, it's kind of a little smushy, and I like that. I like how heavy the chain is, I like the way that it feels when I carry it. So this is definitely one that just makes me feel really good. And this matches a lot of my outfits since I do wear all black all the time. And I just, I love it. And there is a flaw that I've talked about before in the bag. And that's the fact that this part is open. So if you have like chapstick or lip gloss or something in there and you turn the bag sideways, it will fall out. That's super annoying. And I wish that that was not the case, but regardless, I would keep this bag. This bag is one that I use most of the time i would say that's why it's usually not on my shelf because i usually have it like sitting on the couch or like sitting near my bed or whatever having it like ready to go ready to use because i use this all the time this is definitely in my keep pile i do not want to part with this bag and i honestly want another chanel um another chanel boy bag i don't know what color i don't know what size i don't know anything about that but one day i would purchase another chanel boy 
Okay, next one is one to sacrifice. Um, this was a really hard choice for me, but it would be the Bouchette accessories. I really like this bag, and I think that it's the perfect bag for travel. I said that in my video when I, um, I think when I unboxed it or when I like did a what's in my bag video about this, which if you haven't watched those, I can link them down below too. But I really like this bag for that reason because it's detachable. Like you can take it and wear it to dinner with just this part, or you can put the strap on it carry it around crossbody. I love the versatility of this bag. I don't actually plan on selling it in real life, but <laughs> I, if I had to let something go, this is just like not really a classic to me. So I would let this one go. I, I hate to say that too, because it did me so well when I was in Hawaii. This was perfect because I would take it shopping and then I would detach it, take it to dinner. And I only had one bag with me most of the time. I didn't buy the um, Dior saddle bag until like the last couple weeks of the trip. So most of the time I just had this and this was perfect. I didn't feel like I needed anything else. So if you travel a lot, well, I guess not right now, but if you travel normally a lot, this is something that I would, I would love. I think this is an amazing, it's, I think this is an amazing bag for someone who travels a lot and it's totally going to be worth it. But this is one that I would sacrifice because it's not a classic. I just realized that there's a bag that I want to show you guys that is not here, but that's okay. I'm going to still talk about it anyway. I'm sure that you guys have seen it if you've watched my other videos. It is my Chanel Small. Um, I don't have it in my apartment right now. I left it at my grandparents' house, but <laughs> I totally thought that it was here and it's not here. It's over there. But anyway, that is one of my favorites. I will insert a like picture of me with the bag or something like that. That way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. It is a black Chanel caviar um size small with silver hardware and it is beautiful this bag i take everywhere i use this bag for going out a lot this is definitely one that i take out with me all the time and this is a favorite for that um that's pretty much the only time that i use that bag though i usually take it just like i said for dinners going out to bars um if i were to go to like a club or something that would be one of my go-to bags for that um, but it is not here right now and unfortunately I can't show you guys but yeah that is one that would be in my keep pile because I use it all the time or at least like when I was going to bars and clubs and stuff I used it all the time and I absolutely love that bag and plus the prices on that bag now for like resale are insane even for retail the prices on that are insane because I think they make less smalls on the other sizes so the prices tend to be up there so I'm really glad that I got mine when I did and I don't really plan on selling it because I think it's amazing, but it'd be nice to know that if I do change my mind and I want to sell it, that I'll probably get a good amount for it. I feel like this one's going to be unexpected to be on the sacrifice list, and I feel like a lot of you guys are not going to agree with me on this one because it's the LV can, can bag. That's, I think, how you say it. I really like this bag. I don't think that I plan on selling it. I might maybe sell it one day. Um, this might be one of the bags out of my collection that ends up going because I brought a new one in. When I first saw it, I had to have it. And I take this bag as a brunch bag all the time. I used to carry it quite a bit, but now it's not really like my favorite bag to go to. And I think that might be because my style has changed up a little bit. It's a little harder to match with things. So if I did have to sacrifice something, this would be one of them. And it's not because I don't love the bag. It's perfect. It's very functional for it to be like a, wrap, a cylindrical bag. Like it's very functional. I love it. It fits a lot. The strap is great. I love carrying it by the top handle. It's perfect. I love this bag, but the fact that I don't get to wear it that often because of like styling is just kind of sad. And I don't like for bags to just sit here if I'm not using them. So this would definitely be one that I would sacrifice, even though I think it's beautiful and I love it. <laughs> Can anybody guess what my last keep bag is? I feel like, I feel like it might be like a little, a little obvious. Um, Cause I talk about this bag all the time. It's my Birkin 30. I, a Birkin 35, what am I saying? It's a Birkin 35. Um, I do have a Birkin 30 as well. It's not here right now, but I do have a Birkin 30 as well. And out of the two of them, if I had to sacrifice one and sell it, I would sell the Birkin 30 and I would keep the Birkin 35. And I feel like that's another kind of unpopular opinion, but I love the Birkin 35 more. Um, and even though the Birkin 30 that I have is red, it's beautiful, it's in my favorite color. And I, like that bag more in the sense that it's my favorite bag to look at and everything like that. In real life, I use this one more because I'm not afraid to get it dirty. I'm not afraid to like, do anything to it. It's very durable. I can throw it around. It's a little floppier. It's more of a casual bag and I don't feel like I have to have an occasion to wear it out. So 
if I had to choose one to keep in my collection and one to sell, like I said, I'd sell the 30 and I would keep the 35. I love how big it is, love how much it fits. I think it's beautiful and I just, I love something about it being just so like floppy and casual and such a chill type of bag that this is just one of my favorites. I don't ever want to part with this bag. This is a bag that I want to keep in my collection forever. And it is definitely, definitely, it definitely, definitely deserves a top place in my keep list because if I had to get rid of everything else and only keep one bag, I would keep this one. And I feel like that is a kind of tough thing to say because that means I would have to take this to dinner. Like we're taking this instead of a crossbody bag everywhere. Like I do not care. This is the bag that I would keep. <laughs> Okay, so that is it. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would. I hope this video doesn't end up being too long, but those are my five to keep, five to sacrifice. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. Also, how do you guys feel about my hair? Like I change it up a little bit. I, um, I haven't worn my like actual hair in like eight months. So it's kind of crazy because you guys remember when I was bald? Like you guys remember when I shaved my head? I shaved my head on my channel. Like, wow, now I have a little bit of hair. It's crazy. I don't know, but <laughs> that is totally off topic. But yeah, I think it's cute. I like the little buns. I just wanted to have a break from the protective styles and all that. But you know, that doesn't have anything to do with video. But if I didn't chit chat about a little something extra, then it would even be my video. So anyway if you guys want to follow me on instagram i'll put my instagram right here it is swan x don that way you can see how i style my bags and shoes and all that good stuff and then i will see you guys in the next video bye guys